question I occasionally get asked is, what should I be thinking while I'm improvising? Now this is quite an interesting and tricky question to answer because there are so many different approaches, concepts and techniques to improvisation. But nevertheless, I think you can make some generalizations. While improvising, you can really think at three different levels. You can think at an operational level, a tactical level, or a strategic level. And the level at which you think really depends on your skill level, your experience, and how well you know the song. When you first start improvising or learning to improvise over a new song, you tend to think at a very operational, um, mechanical level. You're thinking about things like, what chord am I on? What are the notes of the chord? What's the next chord? What scale should I be using? What are the notes of that scale? Bugger, I played the wrong note. Crap. What part of the song am I up to? At this stage, you're not very confident. You don't know the form of the song very well yet. And you just haven't played it enough times. You're playing somewhat random phrases without really trying to link them together in any way. It kind of sounds like a bit of an etude. It sounds a bit boring. It doesn't really sound like a solo yet. You're really focusing on playing the right scale, playing the right notes, and not losing your place in the song. So a good analogy is that it's like you're writing words on a page. And they're all real words, but they have no relation to each other. They don't make any kind of sense when put together. So you've written something like, Cat Green Marriage 7 Piano. But then, after more repetition and more practice, you become a bit more familiar and comfortable with the song, and you start getting used to playing the chords and the scales. So what you're playing becomes a bit more fluid, confident, and automated. Eventually, you'll be able to play simple phrases on autopilot without needing to think very much at all about the right scale to use, or the right chords, or the right notes, or the right section of the song in the form. Right, it all gets into your muscle memory and you'll be able to play it more or less on autopilot. At this point, you can start thinking a bit more tactically. You now have more mental capacity to think about adding in some extra improvisational techniques. So you start thinking about things like, well, maybe I'll add a chromatic run here. Or maybe I'll reference the melody here. Or, hmm, that phrase sounded really nice, maybe I'll repeat it. Or you're playing a phrase and you're thinking, you know what, I'm going to finish this phrase on the ninth of a chord because that'll sound really nice and jazzy. So at this point, your phrases are a bit more thought out and considered and intentional. They're less random. You might even be able to link a few phrases together with repetition or a motif. Your improvisation is beginning to sound a bit more interesting with a few more improvisational techniques added in and a bit more complexity on top of your kind of basic major scale improvisation. So now it's like you're writing words that link up into intelligible sentences or paragraphs, right? They're no longer just random unrelated words. They now have meaning together. Something like the boy went to the park where he met the girl. This sounds like the beginning of a plot. and repetition, you're now quite comfortable with the song. You've internalized the form, the chords and the scales are in your muscle memory, and you're quite comfortable now playing sort of that bass level major or blues scale um, phrases, but then also adding some of those improvisational techniques and ideas on top and linking your phrases together in some way. Here you can start thinking at the strategic level, 
which means thinking about your solo in a more abstract way, more holistically, and in terms of creating tension and resolution over the course of your entire solo. So creating tension, building up to a climax, and then resolving that tension. So you may be having thoughts like, well, I've been playing with quite a dense texture up to this point. Maybe I should play a bit more sparsely in the next section. Or I'm nearing the end of the song. It's time for a climax in my solo. Or the chords in this section are quite dissonant. So I'll match the dissonance in my solo and really build a lot of tension before then resolving it into the next section. Right, you're thinking at a much more abstract and high level. You're thinking about the solo as a whole and how you can construct a narrative or a story with your entire solo start to finish. So here, you're taking the words that you've written, combining them into sentences and paragraphs, and then creating a story out of it with a beginning, middle and end, with a protagonist that overcomes an obstacle to achieve his goal. So ultimately, you want to be able to think at this higher strategic level, but that takes a lot of practice, a lot of repetition, and a lot of hard work. But keep at it, don't be discouraged. Over time, you'll notice your thought process getting much more abstract and nuanced and sophisticated. It takes time, but it's worth it. Cool, thanks guys, see ya.